Hey, it's Kenton Becker, American Pacific Mortgage, here with another quick back to the basics tip for you. I'm uh, here in my office, it's a beautiful day out, got a nice uh, view of Bellevue behind us, but uh, just wanted to bring you another quick tip. We talked a little bit about location, we also talked a little bit about selecting the right lender. Now I actually wanna talk about the pre-approval process and some points to make on that. You're gonna go through a few different stages when you go through the pre-approval process. The first stage is getting pre-qualified. Pre-qualified just means that you've gone online, you've filled out an application, and then based on the numbers that came back in that application or that you filled out in the application, uh, the lender is going to tell you a number. If you said you make 10000 a month, they're going to give you a number based on 10000 a month. The good part about that is it's really easy to go through. It takes about 10, 15 minutes to do an application, so that's pretty simple. The bad thing about it is that it sometimes can be very inaccurate, especially if you filled something out wrong on that application, the number it gives you is going to be wrong. But we'll recommend that you go through the next stage, which is getting pre-approved. Getting pre-approved just means that you've sent in your information, maybe your financial documents, to have them verified. Verifying those documents means that you've provided pay stubs, bank statements, maybe tax returns as well. Providing those additional details is going to give the lender confirmation of your actual income. Once they can confirm those numbers, now they can actually approve you for that amount or for that loan size. Now you can also go a step further and get a full underwriter approval. The full underwriter approval just means exactly what it says. You're actually sending the file to an underwriter to get that file approved by an underwriter. It gives you more confidence because now you know an underwriter has reviewed your file and it gives the seller more confidence because the seller knows that you've had it reviewed by an underwriter. Really important to get those things. Now the last thing that I wanna talk about here is making sure that when you get a pre-approval or an underwriter approval or even a pre-qualification, when you get a letter from a loan officer, make sure that they include an estimate with it. The estimate needs to tell you what your closing costs will be, needs to tell you what your payment will be, what your rate might be. Again, it is just an estimate, so nothing is locked in at that point, but that estimate's gonna tell you if that price that they pre-approved you for is really the payment that you want. Get that estimate so that you know that that number that they gave you is gonna be the right number for you. So that's a quick uh, little video tip here, getting back to the basics and how to go through the pre-approval process. Thanks for joining me. Have a great week.